everybody, Doug Knight here, Marketing Director for Downtown Inc. Really excited on Saturday, May 11th. We're here at the Yorktown Hotel in downtown York, Pennsylvania. Today is Sweetest Pint 2013. It's a wonderful walking pub tour here of the downtown area where our patrons, visitors, and guests of York, Pennsylvania come downtown and visit six different venues here in town, including Liquid Hero Brewery, Maywin's Irish Pub, White Rose Bar and Grill, Mudhook Brewery, Bistro 19, and Holy Hound Tap Room, along with our sponsor, the Yorktown Hotel. Downtown Inc. is so pleased to have everybody down here. The purpose of this is to really check out the downtown area, really experience what everything has to offer here in downtown, and to really have some great tastings of some craft beers and some chocolate-inspired foods. We're gonna be doing this more often, great events coming up. Please check us out online, downtownyorkpa.com, or at Sweetest Pint, or hashtag Sweetest Pint. Thanks for coming. I am marketing director at Downtown Inc. First and foremost, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. We really do appreciate this. And for those of you who are here in November, thanks for coming again. For those of you who are new, welcome rookies. Hope you have a good time today. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Yorktown. We're glad that we could be yeah, part of right um, this terrific event. Um, just a few quick words about the hotel. We were built in 1925. We are part of Historic Hotels of America. And we have always been known as York's Community Hotel. Um, it was once said that um, if anything happened of importance, it happened at the Yorktown. And by this group today, I guess that's still true. Um, just want to mention one thing to you while I have a captive audience. The room that you registered in um, is our Commonwealth room. And the Commonwealth room is the, ho the county, York County's only AAA for Diamond Restaurant. Since 1925, as you can imagine, it's gone through a lot of different changes and reincarnations, and we just went through yet another one that I want to share with you, and that is that the Commonwealth Room is open now for semi-private and private parties only of 10 or more. So any special occasion, or you just want to come in with a group of 10 friends or so, we hope that you think of us. The other new thing that we've done in the Commonwealth Room is every Thursday from 2 to 4.30, and there's information in there on it, we are now serving afternoon tea. And it is a traditional afternoon tea. If you have a book club or a bridge club and you need a place to go, we invite you to come in, have tea, stay, discuss your book of the month, or play bridge, or poker even, whatever. Um, anyway, so for your special occasions, we hope you think of the Commonwealth Room. Thanks so much and have fun. Don't drink too much. A mole chipotle chili with a hot chocolate cornbread, and then the beer is a dogfish head chicory stout. Um, so you kind of get like from the chili, you should get kind of like a, a coffee and like like a dark roasted chocolate and uh, chipotle kind of flavor, um, and then hopefully you get like the sweeter like hot chocolate kind of uh, cornbread thing going on, and then. Uh, obviously, the chicory stout. Chicory is, uh, is a type of coffee from Louisiana. It's a uh, very dark roast coffee. Um, Dogfish Head, obviously, is a really one of the most well-known craft breweries in, in the country. So, um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, Maywin's, uh, I don't know, have, have a lot of you guys been to Maywin's before? All right, um, we are York's only Irish pub. We have uh, live music. Actually, they're kind of just finishing up. They had a, uh, a recital. Uh, one of the local area um, music teachers brought all the kids in, and they did like a little recital today. Um, yeah, so it was really cool. Um, but we always on Fridays and Saturdays we have live music from uh, nine to midnight. Some of you 
you've been here, many of you, some of you have not, I think. Um, it's the Holy Hound, I'm Scott Eden, the owner, it's my wife Becca. Uh, and um, today we, uh, so this is a, we're a craft beer tap room. I have 30 taps of craft beer rotating all the time. We've gone through 1,104 kegs and since July 2nd. Um, most, of them, most of them are half kegs. If you look in the cooler, they're all big. It's not, it's not a chintzy, they're not little tiny ones all the time. Um, so we, today we have a um, Atwater Deccan and Dark Chocolate Ale from Detroit, Michigan. It's low alcohol, very fairly chocolatey. Uh, unlike most of the chocolate ales, most of them seem to be more in the 8 to 10%, so this is not some imperial style since you have a long, long day of sampling. Um, I'm trying to think what else about the beer. Um, this is just, we've had this on numerous times. Atwater is a small brewery out of Detroit, and we typically have some type of chocolate or chocolate peanut butter on. It's very popular with people. So we typically, year round, we typically have some type of beer similar to this, I would say. And uh, it's being paired today with a chili that Becca made. She can explain that. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with like a Cincinnati style chili. Um, I'm from Ohio. Um, we make our chili a little different. This is made with a dark chocolate in it. So it has a real richness to it and a smoothness. It's also made with a coffee chocolate stout. Um, and that is to kind of take away some of the bitterness and the bite. You won't have a lot of the spicy Tex-Mex flavor in this chili. This is a much richer, smoother, sweeter chili. It's made with a dark roasted chili powder. It's made with a dark brown sugar, dark chocolate, dark stout. Um, all of the meat in it is a sirloin tips and bacon, and it's cooked only in bacon fat. It's, it's a cardiologist nightmare, but it's delicious. <laughs> um, but I think you'll find that it has a nice richness that pairs itself well with the beer. So um, I have it served up in samples already, and the reason I did this is so it's not so scalding hot when you eat it, so it'll, it won't be quite so hot. But I think you'll find and that it pairs as well with the beer. And the beer used, the significance of this is um, this is uh, a brewery in Lexington, Virginia, where I went to college in, at Washington and Lee. One of my um, friends started this down there, and he sent some beer up with some, some customers that went down a few weeks ago. So, sort of the whole, you know, a little bit of everybody, a little bit of everything here, stuff that we made, beer from a craft brewery in Virginia is in the chili. So, so feel free to sample, help yourself. There's plenty of beer and chili. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Nice seeing a lot of new faces in here for the uh, Sweetest Pine Tour. Um, welcome to our little brewery. This is a uh, small little five barrel brew house we have going on in here. We were home brewers making this stuff at home and now we're doing it in here full time. Uh, today uh, we are pairing with Sharon's Sweet Shop and uh, we're going to do some chocolate covered cheese curls which is really, really good. And we're, and we're going to pair those up with our strawberry wheat. So, uh, if you guys have any questions about the beer and whatnot, you know, feel free to ask me. But uh, other than that, thank you, and uh, hope you have a good day. We're at 39 uh, West Market Street. This is Sharon. She also has a stand in Thomasville Market that she's had for like seven or eight years. I have a store downtown at 39 West Market Street. Um, we've been making candy for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've just opened this store, it's only like six months old. Um, everything's homemade right there. We make the chocolates, the baked goods, fudge. I come here all the time. I was just telling them I had my husband's birthday party here last weekend, so. Yeah. And this is their first time. Oh yeah. Oh. Here, I'll give you yeah. my I'm from York, so. You say you're not from York? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, it seems like a great place. And the beer was great. Yeah. So I'm just finding out about all these neat places, like the Central Market. So this is really nice because I've been putting notes in my cell phone of all the places here. 
the uh, place we were at before, I thought we'd go for brunch someday. But you know, at Central Market, when we were at the, uh, the first place, and I turned around and it said it was a soup restaurant, and I saw the different soups, and I'm like, I'm coming here in the summer to get soup. Hey, good beer. Great good job. Beer. Yep. What was your picture for? My favorite beer so far. Actually, here I had the Irregardless, which they weren't serving for as part of this thing, but that was excellent. <laughs> I'm the general manager of Bistro 19. Lovely Kristen here is gonna go over all the beers and what the chef came up for you. Okay? If you have any questions, just let us know at the end, alright? Um, crusted with cocoa, um, chipotle pepper, black pepper, topped with a pork demi-glaze, and that's being paired with the Elysian Dragon Stew Stout. Uh, it's from uh, Seattle, Washington, comes in at about 7.5%, uh, got rated 99 points. It's really yummy. Um, and over here we have uh, chocolate and banana bread pudding, and that's being paired with Wells Banana Bread Beer from the UK. Oh, yeah. yeah! You guys are fun group! Yeah. <laughs> guys, help yourselves whenever you're ready then. Banana bread. Yeah. Banana bread. Forget about. A little wet. Oh, so wet. <laughs> For those of you that, that don't know what the name Mudhook stands for, uh, a Mudhook is another name for an anchor, and we wanted to be an anchor location in the revitalization of downtown York. The beer you are drinking is our chocolate lager. It is the Wolfgang chocolate lager. The uh, cocoa nibs come from Wolfgang chocolate. So it's kind of a cooperation with the, the two businesses. Uh, they are taking the chocolate lager to Chicago next week and uh, putting it in some kind of contest there in Chicago. So it's very cool for us. Um, it is paired up with prosciutto wrapped cantaloupe with semi-sweet chocolate. Prosciutto, prosciutto. All right, see if you can name my beer, my next beer, okay. And cayenne pepper, okay. We, uh, we try to pair up with other businesses at Mudhook and uh, the chef from the uh, uh, Measure Journos over here is a consultant in our kitchen and he uh, came up with this for us to pair with our chocolate lager. So, this is the stout, the chocolate stout, um, made right here, and uh, it's delicious. It's very smooth. It's got a, a nice stout flavor. The chocolate doesn't overwhelm. It kind of complements it, and I like that a lot. It's it's really nice. It, it still retains the good beer flavor. Cheers. Oh, more. Yeah. This is really good. I'm really impressed with it. Well, thank you very much. Hmm. I love it. <laughs> Good beer. I think the sweetest pint is supposed to be chocolate. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty much known for breaking the rules. And so I read the first couple sentences of the sweetest pint and it said sweet. And so we went with a lighter beer and a cupcake. The dessert is something that you would find in our restaurant. Uh, we do, we do uh, partner with Just Cupcakes, which is located over on, on uh, 
Philadelphia Street. They actually had a stand right here, uh, became very successful and opened their own place over on Philadelphia Street. The beer is a Pilsner. Pilsner takes a lot longer to ferment and actually be ready to drink. Uh, we call our beer Papa Canoos. See, now you made fun of me on that other food. Now, who knows what Papa Canoos means? What's that? Well, that's Baba Ganoush. And, and, yeah, well, Papa Ganoush, Papa Ganoush is somebody who, according to my daughter's urban dictionary, it is somebody who wants to be really cool. So you come into our pub, and whether you're really cool or not, you drink a few beers, and when you leave, you think you're cool. So the beer works out just fine. <laughs> this icing is just, it's, it's rich. It's creamy, it's delicious. A perfect compliment to any beer. Here at, uh, at White Rose, we offer something for every meal. We, you know, we have breakfast items at brunch. We have lunch, we have dinner, we have dessert. Since most people are familiar with lunch and dessert, we uh, took those, threw those out there, and decided to take breakfast and dessert and combine them together. The start and the finish of the day. And uh, for our beer, we have a Dunkel, which is uh, brewed by Gunpowder Falls. It, it, it comes out of New Freedom. It's just it's just started to be open for distribution a couple months ago. Uh, so it's a traditional barbarian style German lager. Follows the same few food purity laws that were founded back in Germany in, 19, in uh, 1519, which are simple prior to the prior to the introduction of yeast. It's just water, malt, and hops. They keep it as pure and as simple as you can go. We have uh, it's very lightly hopped. It's it's mainly with five malts, meaning the uh, Munich malt is the main one that gives it the dark color and has a uh, has a warm aroma and a uh, like almost like a flavor reminiscent of fine coffee on the finish. So we wanted to do we wanted to feature something that was that was on the sweeter side with the maltiness, not not too much so, but also something that was very local and, and new and up and coming. Because that's at White Rose, that's what we want to support local businesses as well. So uh, it's a dunkel. Yeah. And uh, they also offer one other variety, it's a Pilsner down there, but that's that's more on the better side. What I like about this brewery, and this beer in particular, as opposed to some of the other craft brewers that are opening up, everyone nowadays seems to be throwing as much hops as you can into a beer, and just going for overload with that. And I, I like how they, I like how they, he put some fine precision into this one. Yeah. Bacon dipped in chocolate. How is it? It's actually very good. At first when I saw this, I was reevaluating my life choices, but now this is really good. We came all the way from Albany, New York to go to this and we thought it was wonderful. We'll come back again. Thank you.